authority and in this video I will be showing you guys on how to compress a video using handbrake and what are the different settings that you can use in handbrake to get your compression right. Now I had made a video on this long back that was about one and a half year ago but there was a lot of things that I didn't mention in the video so there was a lot of confusion and there were many things that were unclear so I'll be clearing everything in this video and I'll make this video as informative as possible. So before getting into the video let's look at some of the results that you might get from the handbrake. So you can see that I have two videos over here. One is uncompressed and one is compressed. Now this is a button remapper video. So this was a video that I had posted recently. Uh, so it was a video on how to remap different buttons in your Android phone to perform different functions. So do check that video out. Now when I rendered this video out from Premiere Pro, the size was about 783 MB. But when I compressed the video, using handbrake I got the result has 154 MB so that's a huge difference so if you get such a huge difference then it will be easy for you to upload a video online so if you are a youtuber then this is a benefit a super benefit for you so let's see how this a result can be achieved using handbrake so first thing that you need to do is go to my website that is techwithsj.com then go through my blog post on what is handbrake and how compression really works so in detail i have explained how video compression really works and then you can look at how uh, you can compress a video in handbrake so it is a very detailed and informative uh, guide so and at the end I have uh, mentioned some of the alternatives to handbrake and also some of the solutions for the commonly faced problems in handbrake. So all the solutions have been mentioned over here so it's a pretty handy blog post for you guys. So the first thing that you need to do is obviously download and install the software from the Handbrake's official site. So you need to download based on your operating system and then you need to install it and open it up. So now this is the interface that you get Handbrake interface. Now over here you have picture, filters, video audio subtitles and chapters now there's one more tab missing over here and it's the advanced tab now you need to um, enable this tab because it's an important tab so for this you need to go to tools and then options and at the end you will see this option saying show advanced encoder options tab you need to enable this option and then you can go to video and you can also look at some of the experimental uh, stuffs. So you can try that one too. So the first thing that you need to do is to enable this option. And when you close this, you are going to see the advanced tab over here. Now, though we have enabled the advanced tab, but still we have not enabled the options under advanced tab. And for this, you need to go to video and you need to enable use advanced tab instead option. So we need to go to video over here and then we need to tick this option that is use advanced tab instead. So when you enable this option, when you go to advanced, you're going to see that all the options in the advanced tab have now been enabled. And now we can start with the compression work. So the first thing that you need to do is obviously select the video file that you want to compress. For this, you need to go to source and under source, you will have two options that is folder and file. Now folder will let you choose multiple video files within a folder at once or you can choose a single video file. For this video, I'm going to choose a single video file and it's going to be obviously the uncompressed version of buttons remapper video that is about 783 MB. Press open and it's going to scan. So you need to wait uh, till it completes 100% and once it's done, the then you need to find a destination where the output file is going to be uh, stored and along with the file name. So you need to choose the uh, location and then you need to give it a file name. In this case, I'm going to give it compressed. So compressed and press save. And so it's going to be saved under users, Sanju, 
uh, desktop compressed so it's gonna be saved over here with the file name has compressed.mp4 so the output file will be in the format of mp4 and then you need to take this option that is web optimized that is it's gonna optimize the video for web and then you need to go to advanced tab and then change the reference frame from 3 to 4 and then you need to go to audio now this step is optional now you can change the bitrate from 160 to 128 and after entering out the file if you face any audio sync problem then don't change the setting over here just skip this step and render it out again so you can uh, try the setting out if you don't face any audio sync problem then you can uh, clearly use this uh, setting but for now i'll just leave it has 160 so i'm just mentioning this uh, option to you guys now once you have done all this you can go ahead and press start now even if you skip advanced stuff and even if you skip the audio tab option don't skip web optimized option because that's the one which compresses the video to the most so once you are done with all the three steps you can also use the presets over here in, and you can also create your own preset using this option so you know i wouldn't really recommend you guys to uh, you know create a preset but instead use this options instead it's because it lets you customize more so i would really recommend you guys to use this one instead and then when you're done with all these options you can press start and it's gonna take some while based on your uh, processor speed and all those stuff so it's gonna take some while to render out the stuff and when it's rendered out i'm gonna show you guys what the video file size is so guys now the video compression has been completed so let's look at the results now if i right click on it go to properties it says 154 mb and also our compressed file was the same it was 154 mb so there is no changes so from 783 mb to 154 mb and that's a lot of saving in terms of both mb as well as a time in uploading the file so guys if you liked this tutorial then do hit the like button and also please show some support by sharing this video to others and also if you haven't subscribed to me then do subscribe to this channel and i'll catch you guys in my next video thanks for watching